Hey, what's up, guys? So it's April 11th. Um, just got back from Pathmark. Had to go get some implements because uh, I'm gonna be making a dinner Saturday, which is tomorrow. I'm gonna be making a dinner for Marcella since her birthday is on Tuesday, but I can't see her on Tuesday or really do anything on Tuesday because I work nights. So I'm gonna be cooking for her on Saturday. Uh, I'm gonna be making. It's uh, I got this recipe online. Um, it's called the pulled pork sandwich. So, um, I got the pork in there in the fridge, and I needed to get some little bit, little bit of implements. Surprisingly, I had a whole bunch of stuff here in my pantry, in my house, or whatever. So I ended up having to get a little, little bit of stuff, and I ended up getting a little extra stuff. I hate when that happens. When you go to the store to get certain things, and you end up getting more than what you really wanted to. I ended up getting like eight items extra that I didn't need to. So here's like the lowdown of it. It's the gist, whatever. Got some of that, some cheddar cheese, some mozzarella, you know, some extra stuff. Got some tostitos, that, a couple of rolls. So the rolls are for the um, pulled pork sandwich, obviously. The mozzarella, I'm actually going to try. Also got this recipe. I'm going to try to make mozzarella sticks. So that's the reason for the mozzarella and some of the, like the flour and some of the other stuff there. So yeah. So tomorrow I'll, I'll film a little. Um, I'll show you when I'm cooking it and all that stuff, how it ends up looking. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes out good. Looks and taste wise. Um, that's it. I'll vlog a little bit more. I'm trying to do this whole thing since obviously we have the MV show. So I'm trying to vlog a little bit more so there's more of V than M. <laughs> or, you know? Um, so, on that note, I'll talk to you later and a quick view of the dog. Look at him, he's just sleeping. <laughs> so I ended up being extremely lazy and not cooking like lunch or anything for myself because I gotta go to work in a little bit. I ended up buying pizza. Now, this is way too much for me. So I think I'm gonna take this, like cheesy breads or whatever. I'm gonna take them to work, give them to the people there. And then these pizzas I'm gonna leave for like my dad and my moms or whatever. Oh, shout outs. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. She got me this radio clock thing. Because where I work, it's extremely boring sometimes. It's like you don't you don't get cars or whatever, so it's extremely boring. You be like two hours just twirling your fingers. So, you know, Instagram and Twitter and YouTube could only work for so long. So I needed a radio. So she ended up getting me a radio. Thank you. You're the best. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be taking their radio, give these things to them. You know, the best part, one of the best parts about my job is that I could wear these things every day. It's cargo pants. Extremely comfortable. It's relaxed, laid back. But apparently I like changing my uniform, so. I'm going to look like a bellhop. Whatever. As long as I come out with a bunch of money like I usually do, I'm fine. So I'm just charging my phone. So I gotta end up getting finished getting ready. And I'll try to sneak some clips at work if I could. If I can't, sorry. I come to my room to put on my shirt for work. And this little guy is just laying all over it. I'm like, yo, won't you get it? I gotta go to work. Things am I laying on it? I ain't gonna go. I gotta go. Sorry, bud. You gotta stay here alone for a little bit. Excuse the mess on the bed. I didn't make my bed today. Woke up too lazy to do that. Hey, what up, guys? It's uh, April 12th. It's Saturday. It's like 11 o'clock or something. I've been up since 6.30. And it's funny because I woke up extremely lazy. I didn't want to go out for anything. 
So I ended up doing like what I normally do on Saturdays is just like, you know, wake up, watch Netflix or something like that. So I watched Netflix and uh, they were giving Never Back Down. And like I was, you know what, let me watch this movie. It's pretty cool. And like, um, whatever, I'm doing like kickboxing. So a lot of stuff that they're doing in that movie, you know, I'm training for whatever. So I saw the movie in a whole different light. And like after I saw the movie, I wanted to like go out and, you know, whoop some ass. I figured, you know, maybe that's not the right thing to do. So I ended up just coming to the gym. Wow, what a hell of a workout I did. I'm not even going to lie. I was in the zone. Um, I love workouts like this. Sometimes I go to the gym and it's like, uh, I don't want to be here. It's like when I do that, I, I just end up not, you know, just leaving or whatever. It's not even worth going, wasting my time. But today was a whole different ball game. I was completely in a different another zone. But anyway, enough about that. So today it is the day where I'm going to be cooking some more salad. Um, right now I'm going to go see if the barbershop is open, probably get a fresh cut. It's been a while since I've gotten that. And then uh, later on I'm just going to cook. Um, I'll see if I can, I'll catch some footage while I'm cooking. Uh, I'll show you obviously the before and after products, you know. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm like driving and vlogging with you guys. Don't do that. I gotta get myself one of those little stands. But yeah, uh, right now I'm just gonna go get a haircut. Later on I'm gonna go cook and stuff like that. So, I will talk to you guys later. Out. There you have it, people. I just came out the barbershop. Finally got a haircut. I know it's been a while. Uh, trimmed down a little bit of the eyebrows because, boy, my things were <laughs> woofing. Uh, you know, a little simple haircut. Nothing too crazy. You know, gotta look good for my girl, you know? Fellas, take a tip. If you don't look good for your girl, she gonna end up looking good for some other dude. And that's not good, brother. So, to keep them. Always gotta, always gotta look good. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, it's April fourteenth. I am so sorry. We didn't really finish vlogging yesterday. Um, we just watched movie. The movie we finished watching Twelve Years a Slave, Ate the Cookies, and then we watched a little bit of the MTV Music, MTV Movie Awards, and that's pretty much the whole night. So there wasn't much to vlog. Um, I look like a total bum right now, but I actually went out and work. I had to be at, in at work this morning at 7 in the morning. I was there till 12. Once I got out of there, I went to Target to return some things. Then I went over to Victor's house to pick up some, like, like to pick up like a, basically the supplies to make another one of those pulled pork sandwiches because it was so good and I wanted leftovers yesterday. But I didn't go over his house yesterday, so I went to pick that up today. Then came home, been home for a while. I'm just hanging out with my mom, watching some It's Judy Lab because I was like a, a week behind. And I am planning on doing my nails, and I have all these colors out. And no, it's not that I'm indecisive. But, um, I found this one thing on Pinterest, and I want to recreate that look, at least on two of my nails. Um, my Pinterest is Marcella V, if you guys want to follow me. Um, but yeah, um, saw that, thought it looked super cute, so I figured I'm going to paint all of my nails with this pretty pink color and then on my ring finger and my um, pointer is that what this is called <laughs> um index i don't know same thing i am going to try to do i think this design is the one that looks the easiest so i'm gonna try that one with um the purpley color is gonna be this color which is like the Periwinkle? We don't have any purples that color. Um, and I saw one from China Glaze the other day that I was at Ulta. So I might go pick that up tomorrow. Now that I definitely saw we don't have it. Um, so that purpley bluish color is going to be this Essie color. And this is Lilacism. That's not going to focus. Is this going to focus? There you go. Lilacism. What are you? 
this one is French Affair, the pink one. And then for the aquamarine Turkish chic color, I'm not sure which one of these to use. Um, I was going to go with this one. It is a lot greener than um, the one in the picture. But I thought it looked nice with these two colors. But then I thought of using my all-time fave Bikini Sotini because these three together look a lot like the colors in the kimono blazer thing my bob that i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow it's like a blue and pink type of pattern so i figured something to match um so that's what i'm thinking um the blue instead of the green um and then i just have some gold opi polish and i'm gonna go ahead and try this don't know how it's gonna turn out hoping for the best but We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Alright. So I just finished doing them. How do they look? How do they look, guys? Um, this one came out pretty good. This one is a total and complete mess. Way through doing my nails, I didn't really like how Bikini Sotini was looking. So I took out my um, mint sugar from Sally Hansen and tried it on one of the nails and it looked really good and while i was taking that out this nail got completely messed up from afar it looks fine but from up close you could tell a whole bunch of mess so i had already done these nails with the bikini sotini so over it i did the mint maybe you could see a little bit of the blue on the side and then this hand actually for having it like having done it with my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand, looks pretty good, must say. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. Um, I actually really like the way it turned out. I am watching um, Ciao Bella's Vanity and Makeup Collection tour. Let me know down below if you want an updated makeup collection slash vanity tour on my beauty channel because I haven't done one of those in quite a while. So let me know down below if you would like to see that. Hey guys, it's April 15th, aka my birthday. I just got home from work slash drinks and appetizers with some co-workers. Um, I don't even know how I sound right now. Um, I got into work at 6, left around 3ish, went out with two of my co-workers to have some appetizers and drinks at P.F. Chang's. Um, one of them left early and then me and my other friend stayed for a little while longer. We had a little like cake for my birthday, like a, you know, like restaurant cake. And um, she just dropped me off at home. Um, my mom is cooking some dinner, which I don't even know how I'm gonna eat because I'm like super full right now. Um, I had a Mai Tai. I'm like pointing you guys to the floor so I could show you. I had a Mai Tai. I'm not sure if I've ever had this before, but that was like my first drink. And then I had a pear mojito. And that's just me <laughs> blowing out my cake. That's my cake. And yeah, just had a pretty nice time at work. Um, not really at work, but like after work. It is a really rainy, ugly, gloomy day outside. It's been like cloudy and raining on and off all day. But it made work a lot easier because we were able to get done everything we needed to get done. There was no one really at the store. And I just got home. It is 6.45 on the dot right now. And my mom is making dinner. I'm probably going to go have some of that and just hang out with my family. I didn't get to show you guys this morning because I left so early. But this is what my mom got me for my birthday. She, I think she said she was going to give me money or something but this is like her extra surprise she got me these like khakis that are really cute have like zippers here um zippers at the ankle these are from these are like really similar to my camel pants that i have but they're just like khakis and then this really cute shirt to go with it i'm obsessed with it hold on let me fix it 
It looks like this. It's kind of like khaki as well, but it has like a bandana print on it. And it has like some red and it's really, really cute. And yeah, I hope I could wear it like Thursday. And yeah, super excited about my little gifts. We're going to go have dinner right now and I really go anywhere my mom made me some dinner so I'm gonna go out and eat because I hear her calling me and I'll see you guys a little later hey guys it's April 16th um sorry that I continue vlogging yesterday but pretty much after I spoke with you I went ate a little bit with my mom um waited for Victor to get out of work once he got out of work he came over we cut my cake and as soon as he left, I basically went to bed because I was dead tired from being at work since 6 in the morning. Craziness, yesterday um, was my birthday, like I said. It's spring, it is April 15th, and it was hailing outside. Woke up to a little tiny bit of snow, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, I just want to share that fun little fact with you because it was absolutely crazy. Um... I went to work today at 6 in the morning as well. I am wearing the little shirt that my mom got me. It's super cute and flowy. I really, really like the way it looks. And I'm just wearing it with some um, legging, jeggings, legging jeans. And my combat boots. I was wearing a black little cardigan over it because it was cold today. It was like below freezing, which is insane for it being April. Other than getting me the quick little outfit, my mom also gave me some birthday money, which I'm going to be using to get myself some Toms, but I have to wait for like the weekend to see if I could go to like a place where we could get them, because I kind of want to try them on before ordering online, because I'm getting like mixed reviews. One of my friends said that they run kind of small, on the website, everyone's like saying that they run big. Um, so it all depends on the type. I want the crocheted ones. And all the reviews basically say that they run pretty big. So to order a size down. So yeah. Other than getting my toms, I also went to Ulta today. Quick little tiny haul. There's not that many things. So I figured I'll show you guys. First... I got these. I've been wanting these for a while now. These um like heated um, rollers. These are the Con Air heat waves for big and silky curl. So they are supposed to be one and three fourths inch and one and a half inch um, rollers, and they look pretty cool. Um, I think that um, Judy from It's Judy Life uses these all the time, and I love how her hair looks. Obviously, my hair is not nearly as beautiful as hers. She has beautiful, thick, long, dark hair. I have super thin, three strands of ugly hair. But I still want to try it out, see if it gives me like some volume or stuff. Um, I have to be at work pretty early tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to do it for tomorrow. But I might try it out in a little while, just to kind of practice with them. So, got this. I think it ended up being like 35 bucks, something like that. And then I picked up some other goodies. I have been wanting this blue eyeliner from NYX for quite a while. There is a girl I follow on Instagram. What is her name? Um, I forget. I think it's something with the name. Amaryse. Amaraise. Something like that. She's from the city. She's like a makeup artist. And she's posted a couple looks with this beautiful royal blue eyeliner. And it's this one right here. It's NYX. Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Blue. And it is the most stunning, beautiful blue. And I've been trying to pick it up for quite a while. And they're always sold out. And um, they had it in today. And I'm like, I need it. I'm getting it. Then I have also been wanting a um, like flesh-colored eyeliner for a while. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil. In light, it's supposed to be, um, okay, it says concealer, eye brightener, reverse lip liner in one. So it's supposed to be everything in one. But I tried it on my hand. And it was a little bit lighter than my skin tone, which I figured would be perfect. Um, a lot of people, and I myself, even use white liner on my waterline. 
for a really long time to help highlight it um, but it kind of looks really artificial and fake and um, I've heard that nude pencil is like the way to go to make your eyes look awake and nice so I wanted to pick one of those up then I watch um, makeup by Tiffany D like religiously I'm obsessed with her channel she has mentioned this following product a million times in her favorites and every time I am in Target or the drugstore I go to the Nevia products and try to find it and I never could so let me know down below if you already know what I'm talking about <laughs> it's the Nivea kiss of olive oil and lemon Reading that sounds totally weird because you don't want olive oil necessarily on your lips. 